Let's do a battery on an F60. So, a couple things we got to do. Remove the seal. We do have to take the cover off right here, but there is a little bit of a uh, connector right here, so I'll get that out. A couple of things I like to do. I do like to take out the crossbar that goes over the whole thing. A couple of things we have to do. Take this little pin out. We have a couple of eights. Eight right here, eight right here. Take this guy off. I do like to remove this eight back here because everything gets lined up a little bit better. So let me get those off real quick. All right, I did forget that there was an eight right here, but removing that guy, kind of pop these little plastic things off to expose these tens that are underneath. Some people like to take off the brackets, some people don't. I like to because it gets it out of the way. And then everything kind of flops off. Um, we'll be loosening that, either a flathead screwdriver or I think it's seven millimeter, taking off this little rubber piece. Got a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. And then we'll remove that air box. I don't have to, you don't have to unplug this. I'll show you how I flip it over. But uh, the 10 millimeters on the bracket across, the two tens, then we'll work out underneath. The bar that comes off does have little arrows. I don't know if you can see the arrow. But would be pointing forward for both sides. So you don't flip it on backwards. Comes right down. There's a little push tab to push right there, and then this front snorkel comes out. Inside, this little guy. What's up? I already loosened this guy. Hose. So I'll just lift it straight up. And then I twist the air box to kind of loosen it from this guy. There we go. And then flip over. We're going to have a 13 here, 13 here, and then a 13 holding the battery underneath. bracket just comes up and out so there is a groove right here where this will line up and then same with this up here lines up up here so, the groove, so that kind of lines up all the way across and I forgot to take that eight out I'll get that out of the way so it's easier to get that lined up like I said uh, looks like someone's been in here before a lot of people forget about this little breather hose. I'll get that here in a sec. There's another 13 down here. It does have a little uh, rubber band on the bottom. Some of them should, so that the bolt is going right through. We'll be loosening up the terminals 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Negative off first. Flip that up around that bar. But scoot it on out. What about that? Just 
lift up from the bottom. Not too bad to do a battery job, just a couple things. It is regularly for me. Uh, not forgetting to put the breather hose back in. Some people just don't for, don't put it in, forget about it, and just leave it out. But uh, yeah, let me go get the new battery, and then I'll be back to show you the install. Alrighty, so we got the original battery, our original mini battery, 800 CCA. There's a part number in case anybody wants to know. EGM, a little cover, it actually comes with one of the new plugs, so that breather tube I was talking about. There's actually one hole on the back that I plug up, and then the other one's for the breather tube in the front. Pick this up. <clears throat> Be careful of the coolant hose. It may be in the way, but I've never had a problem. Push in, positive, negative, still off. Make sure that little rubber hose, or the rubber, um, rubber band is still on the bottom. Start this one by hand because I've seen where people strip them out. Don't forget the breather hose. People mess this one up all the time. I like to get this part in right here, lined up, and snaps right in. 13. where the bottom goes, these little holes. There are the little white guys down here. reverse order as long as you got that lined up the cover will kind of sit where it needs to be on everything with the holes lining up and up here but back, back together 10 millimeter I start everything by finger just because you can strip some stuff line up these two holes and then back here you hear that click in 10 millimeter 10 millimeter Crossbar. Remember the arrows facing forward. Thank you. 
Don't forget that guy. Uh, that is uh, number one that I see a lot of people forget of. It happens to cause a check engine light from time to time, but with that being loose, that can cause it. Also, the negative battery, I don't know if I already said that, negative is the last thing I do. Uh, putting back the little cover that goes over it. This guy. goes in downwards and kind of sits into place in that groove right there. Don't forget this little guy. Pops in. The rubber. Some of them have a little arrow right here which will line up with the little arrow with a little line right there. So that's a good sign right there. Put it in. Put it in Settled. And then we're going to be looking at registration. So I don't know if you guys can be able to see this, but um, I'll probably take a picture and put it in there. But it does say after installing new battery, the service function register battery replacement should be ran registration of the battery exchange is necessary in order to perform power management that a new battery has been installed in the vehicle if the battery exchange is not registered the power management will not function properly this can result in display of a control messages in the function limitations such as the reduction or switch off of individual consumers. Uh, so, we can push pin in, uh, eight millimeters, still need to go down. That one in the back is in. Um, these ones, make sure the pins. Some of the clubmans will have a 10 millimeter here instead with that or the crossbar. Um, but everything is back together. So long story short, that's how we do the batteries. Um, it's going to be the same pretty much on all F-Series. Um, it may not, it's not really quite uh, different. It's just like two different steps to the two doors, four doors, and club mittens. But the country mittens is pretty much the hardest one. Like I said, people don't take this bracket out and they kind of slip it out. But it's up to everyone's preferences. Just go over, make sure everything is back in where it needs to be. All the so even better, we got a four door hard top. So these ones are kind of like the two doors. The uh, only thing is we have to loosen or turn these a quarter of a turn. These right here, uh, 10 millimeter little guys like that. This guy comes right off. These are already loose. So, pretty much the same thing. You know, uh, there was, yeah, just that bracket that goes across here is the only difference between the F60s and then the two door hardtop, four door hardtop. And Clubmans don't have that. Uh, Clubmans are more like the F60 Countryman style with the whole plastic piece that goes across. But that is the only difference. I'm going to put this part in the middle of the whole F60 battery replacement. So you can see that there's just a minor difference. Uh, there is no eight millimeter that comes back here that you have to kind of line up. But as long as that guy gets kind of placed in that slot, goes back down, this guy up here kind of lines up in spot. Everything else is pretty much the same. 13, 13, 13, and but no crossover bar. Another worthy note, since I am re registering the battery, a deleted false, and then the faults that don't delete are the window uh, regulator faults. So I do have to initialize all four of the windows. Um, so that's something else to be looking out for.